I'm joined by Dean Brennan after Barnet lost 7-5 to Wrexham. Dean, a tremendous advert for the National League, a brilliant game of football, not the result we wanted. But can we take some positives, the fact that Wrexham before today had only conceded a maximum of two goals per any team um, in their first 13 games of the season and we managed to put five past them? Yeah, look, listen, we've come here, we know, we're know we not a team that sits off, we've come here, we've got a lot of our patterns of play, in play, we're excellent. Um, and we, we give up cr criminal goals, really. Um, deflected free kicks, which are free kick that shouldn't have been a free kick. Not engaging another free kick, I think we've conceded from two corners. And players just not doing their individual jobs defensively well enough, simple as that. What defensively do we need to strengthen on? We are conceding more goals, I'm sure you'll agree. We need to sign better players, better defenders, simple as that. Some of the boys have had that chance over 13 games. I've just said to them, they need to sign better players. Simple as that. Our patterns of play are unbelievable. We scored unbelievable goals today. So you need to sign better players. You need to upgrade. Um, so hopefully we've given the opportunity to do that. And uh, we have to do that. It's the levels are the levels of Wrexham are showing a high. So they scored seven, we scored five. And we could add more. We missed some good chances as well. It'd be interested to see how many attempts on both goals. And it is a little bit of a... We had to come here and have a go that way. When we're 2-1 up, We've just given away the most stupidest goal. Uh, deflected free kick from miles away, from like 20 odd yards away. Um, for me, that shouldn't be going in a goal, and that's what's cost us all season. That's why we're a mid-table team and not a team challenging for promotion. There was a little bit of chatter about your team selection and about the system you're playing. Are you able to elaborate on how you set us up today? Yeah, yeah, we went three at the back, tried to overload them, um, tried to overload the midfield off the back of their midfielders. Um, and like I said, I thought our patterns in possession were excellent, some brilliant creative play, some fantastic goals. Um, and we're quite ex expressive in that. Um, obviously, Keane's been out a long time, so you know, but he's got to affect the game more. He never affected the game today, so he come off Hall, he come on, affected the game, with and without the ball. So, um, yeah, system wise, yeah, we changed the system. Nicky obviously scored two goals today, adding to his already brilliant tally. Great to see him back on the score sheet, and also great to see Idris um, playing some really good football, some one of, one of our goals of the season, I'm sure you'll agree. What did you make of those two players today? I thought the goal of the season was one was pulled back to Idris with 25 passes and it was a brilliant goal. Obviously he scored a worldie into the postage stamp. So yeah, Idris was good as well. But like I say, we've probably had today seven players really do their job. And I said to the players on Friday, towards the Friday, we're prepping for the game, we need everybody to be 8 out of 10. We've had four players there, really, that have been below four defensively. Simple as that, not good enough. Um, so yeah, just, that's, the, that's, the, that's the reality of it. We need to sign better defenders. Finally, a break from the relentless National League schedule. We've got an FA Cup break and we go up against Western Superman next Saturday, back at the Hive. Obviously, we'll get a few days off and then we'll back into preparations. How are you going to be preparing for playing uh, uh, Western? Well, we've got to earn the right. We've got to make them defend. Um, to be fair, it's a banana skin for us. They're flying in their division. I don't know how they got on today. We're watching them to, uh, on their Tuesday night. they got Dorchester, so we're travelling down to watch them. So, like, we're prepared like we always do for every game, but we've got to make sure we defend better. That's the first thing. And we've got to make sure we earn the right to win the game. That's so important. Uh, and you need a little bit to look in the cup, you know, with, with refereeing decisions and stuff like that. But ideally, if you said to me before the game, uh, we get a home toy, I would have been I was pleased with that. So that's a little bit of luck that's gone away, but we've got to make a count. Dean, thank you very much for your time.